What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steve Runner here and welcome back to another race vlog. Today is the day of the Hereford 10 miler and my first race of 2022. We're here, there he is, surprise. Us two are racing today down at Hereford. Last minute entry for this man. We're gonna get blown over. I'll talk to you a little bit more in a second. We're just getting a quick warm up done, getting our bibs. Okay, we have <laughs> we have our bib numbers. We're scoping out the course. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> There's a mountain at eight miles. <laughs> First reactions. Okay, so. <laughs> I came away for a flat holiday. <laughs> should have stayed in Wales. I yeah. think the Breckens are less than this. Anyway, we both kind of uh, kept this one a little bit quiet, uh, mainly because, I don't know, you're a last minute entry. Yeah. I'm focused on Borton next week. So this is a hard training run. We're on the back of uh, Storm, Dennis and Eunice. I think it's Dennis. And uh, Dennis? what was it then? Um, what was the first Storm? Dudley. Dudley? Dudley, Storm Dudley. So, as you can see, the debris on the road is a bit nuts and it is very windy. So not only have we got hills to contend with, we have wind, a runner's worst nightmare. But I think, do you know what I'm just gonna say? I think we got a headwind on the way out and not back, but that was a headwind coming back. God only knows, it's gonna be a nightmare. We'll see how we get on today. Got a bit number. Let's go and pin it off. There we go, last bit of car action before we switch to this camera. Just over two miles warm up done with Matt. We're gonna walk on down to the start line now. About 25 minutes to go. Take about 10 minutes to get there as a walk. And yeah, let's get this show on the road. Wish us luck, it's gonna be hilly, it's gonna be windy, it's gonna be rainy, it's gonna be good fun. So this is a little bit of a Welsh runner takeover. Andy won't jog to the start line because he's worried about losing energy. It's about 800 meters away. Talk to me, Andy. I didn't actually say I'd lose energy, I just said I didn't want to run to the start line. <laughs> He's worried. Well, come on, like, I, I, I... Yeah, plus, look at your shoes and look at my shoes. You've got the energy-saving shoes. All right, so, yeah. He's got vapor flies on, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at yours. Ooh, the bouncy shoes for the hills. Fun so, fact for you, Alpha Fly are a little bit less efficient uh, on the hills, which is pretty obvious because they're a little bit heavier, but... There we go. Thank <laughs> you. 
my god, there we go. Gonna do a cool down. Race complete. This man, winner, winner, chicken dinner, course record, 53.42 for him. That's nuts. Uh, I hope the camera picked up the win. 59.33 for me. I went in there with the tiniest hope of running like a 57 or a 58, and uh, the wind and those hills and that course just got rid of any chance of that happening. Uh, but I'll take it, I'll take that as a strength builder. And yeah, that is a solid, solid run. So we're gonna get a couple of miles cooldown done now and uh, I'll give you a quick race recap. So there we go, back in the car, race medal done. First and foremost, before we go into the race recap, massive thanks uh, to um, the organizers. What a race. I am absolutely trashed. <clears throat> Marshalls, volunteers, everyone out there shouting. It was brilliant. Um, great to see Matt there, great to see Matt win, get the course record, that was fantastic. He is in insane shape. If you missed the video from the other week of me interviewing him, talking about his training, it really is a must watch if you can excuse my heavy breathing on it um, because I'm way too unfit at the moment. Uh, he's in good shape, 53.42 on that course is nuts. So hopefully the camera will have picked up some of that wind um it was insane for some reason i knew it was 580 foot worth of hills or there or thereabouts in the 500 range i did not think it was going to be as tough as it was i went into that thinking i'm not sure what shape i'm in but i just want to race a race before borton and i want to race to see how i feel i want to race to to get back into the swing of things i haven't raced since the new at nine and I got a race today. I hurt, it burnt, everything was tough. Um, it was insane, 59.33. And people were saying to, a couple of people said at the start, Chris said to me, um, uh, and someone else said to me, if you can get under an hour here, it's pretty decent. And do you know, in the back of my head, I thought to myself, I'd love to get 57 or 58. Um, I totally underestimated the course and the weather. So obviously, as I said at the start, we're on the back end of some storms. So the wind out there, especially in the back part of the loop, it was it was kind of like a figure eight of a course. Um, and basically going out in the back straight, we had a lot of wind in our faces into the side and it was pretty tough going. I was breathing hard from the off. And basically at mile six, there's quite a steep, short, steep hill. Uh, and I got to the top of that short, steep hill uh, and I pushed up it and I was done. Um, I've got live data now, I've just uploaded it to my Garmin. I'm going to take you through this because I think I must have hit the 180s heart rate, which I haven't touched for ages yet. Okay, so my average was 174. Um, I'd love to see what my max was. Let me just have a look and I'll run you through the course. 181. I knew it. I could tell. I haven't been in that zone for so long and it burned and it hurt. So anyway, basically... Um, as I said, 500 and something foot's worth of running. I forgot to start my watch today, so I'm half a mile short on my Strava data. Uh, so my watch came up as 57.05, I think, but my official time was 59.03, so I was two and a half minutes short. Either way, um, it, it's a it's a good uphill start, and then it, it just rolls uh, for the first sort of four miles. It's just kind of down or up, really. There's a few kind of straightish sections, but it's really mainly down or up. And you kind of get to the top and the back of the loop, and you hit a main road, and you run up that for, I don't know, half a mile or something. And that's kind of like gently down and then gently up. And as you peel off that, that's when the wind really hit me on that back straight. So my watch came up around four, four and a half miles. That would have been about four and a half, uh, about five miles ish uh, in real time. And you have a really nice downhill at that section, which I was looking forward to. I'd earmarked that on the course, but the wind just sort of smacked us in the face. So we flew down a hill, kind of flattened out a little bit for half a mile. And then, as I said, up to that steep bit at mile six, that's when I, I mean, I'd worked really hard all the way up to that point and I was breathing heavily. 
but I got up to the top of that hill and I absolutely just blew a gasket and I just had to go into cruise control at that point. I had, it was damage limitation. I'd been running in fourth place uh, all the way and I finished in sixth, basically. I started off in seventh, uh, picked a couple of people off in the first mile, two or three people, and I just sat in fourth uh, all the way. I could see second and third in front of me. Matt had disappeared off the face of the earth. I couldn't see anyone behind me, but I tried not to turn around and two guys caught me in the last mile, just basically when I went into cruise control. And I said to them as I came round, um, oh God, I'm so glad to see someone. I'm gonna try and hang on to the back of you as much as I can. And it gave me a bit of a spur to get up the last hill and down. And I think I finished in a relatively respectable 5.30 for the last 0.49 of a mile or whatever it was. But my splits were relatively decent, 558, 550, 547, 558, 552. And that was for the first five, six miles. So I was really happy with that. And then we hit that big hill, as I said, 623. Uh, and at that point, I really started to struggle. 601. Uh, was a bit of down in that one, so I really did click into cruise control and didn't push at that point. 5.47, quite happy with that. I started to feel like I could pick up some momentum. 6.10 for the ninth mile, uh, and then 5.30 for that last bit all downhill. So what do I take away from that? That that is a really tough, challenging, but enjoyable course. Um, just hard work, just really hard work. It got everything out of it that I wanted to get out of it. My lungs burn. It was a race that I haven't felt pain like that in such a long time, in a good way. I really, really pushed myself to the edge. Um, I came in wanting to get some kind of indication of shape. I now have no indication of shape. Um, I can't take that weather and that course and go, well, on a flat course and a dry course, I'd be in this shape. There's no way. So I just take it as I went sub one hour on that course. And I'll, I'll take it. I'm done. I'm going home. I'm going to have a bath. I'm going to roll on to Borton next week. So thank you guys for sticking around for another race vlog. Well, the first one of 2020. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed today, make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.